What's up, everybody? This is another sports video here. We're going to talk NFL football. We're going to talk about the seesaw atmosphere that is the NFL season during this COVID season, right? I called it before, and I'll say it again. This is not going to favor the betting public, right, or the bettors, right? Everything is so up in the air. You have teams that are traditionally lower in the rankings that don't do so well are beating other teams that are supposed to get beaten, right? So you have all this wish-wash of the NFL. I mean, I can go down the list. There's a huge list. But for some reason, I don't know how the Pittsburgh Steelers are in a position. They're undefeated, right? It's an amazing feat that they've been able to do. And they put themselves in the winner's seat to be able to do everything right then you look at the uh nfc west where you have you know one of the hardest divisions out there everybody's kind of beating each other but you have pretty much everybody with the winning record right then you have the new england patriots losing a bunch of games that nobody thought he was going to do however some say COVID affected it i i could believe that but more more importantly it is what it is, right? Everybody's dealing with these issues and it's a luck of the draw to see who, you know, people get affected by COVID, right? Then you see, you know, the Kansas City Chiefs are the Kansas City Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes is coming through, is following through with this giant contract and he's earning his keep, right? He's a keeper. That guy's doing what he's supposed to be doing, right? Then you look at other parts of the NFL. You have Odell Beckham Jr. out for the year, right? You have the Cleveland Browns are playing amazing, right? And then you have other teams that you weren't expecting to do so well are doing well. The Miami Dolphins are beating and losing against teams. It's an interesting thing, right? And then you have the uh, Seattle Seahawks, which who they, they are who they are right now, right? We expected them to always be consistently good, right? Los Angeles Rams are doing their thing. They're winning and losing, right? They have, they have a decent record, right? And then so when you look at the dynamics of NFL football during the first eight games of the year, I like what's happening. There's a lot of uncertainty there. There's a couple factors for that, right? There's there's the no preseason, right? Where everybody had to get up and running, right? We don't know who was really good. It's kind of starting to show right now. We had to go eight games into the year for it to show. For people that bet, holy smokes, you must have lost or won a ton of money, right? A lot of underdogs won or are winning games, right? So you have that aspect of the whole thing. So what are you supposed to do with all that, right? Well, you're supposed to maybe not be gambling as much or be wary. You got to be a very, very, very good analysis person for this whole betting thing to be able to figure all that out. It's a very amazing thing. When you look at the NFL season, the first half of the season was a wash. It was a wash with inconsistency, right? But we expected that, right? We expected that there's no clear top team unless you're looking at the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Kansas City Chiefs, Seattle Seahawks, you know, you're looking at these teams, they have good records, good teams, but they're coached well, but the organization is ran really well, right? So that's what we have. And then we then we still have this dilemma that is the Washington no-name team, right? Which is what's going on over there. And that's indicative of their record, right? They're they're a good team, but they're just not gonna be up to snuff, right? So you have this, it, you know, you have these weird things that are going on in the NFL season. I thought it was very interesting to to kind of point all that stuff out. First half of the season, where are we at with all this stuff like that? What do you guys think, though? Where do you guys think is the biggest shocker upset in this whole uh, first half of the 2020 COVID season? Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments. Talk to you guys later. Bye.